back. Uh, he made his name drinking wine and venting in clips on BuzzFeed. Now Matt Belisai is here with a book. But first, uh, Courtney Hall is here with a check of the headlines. Hi, Courtney. Hey, guys. Let's start with what's going on in the Middle East. Egypt's top diplomat canceled his meeting with White House advisor Jared Kushner and other U.S. officials. The meeting was scheduled for later today. The foreign ministry in Cairo says the cancellation is in response to the U.S. cutting aid to Egypt. The group is still set to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu today and also Palestinian President Abbas tomorrow. The U.S. Navy will fire the commander of its seventh fleet after a fourth collision this year, Vice Admiral Joseph O'Coin oversaw naval operations in the Pacific. The most recent happened earlier this week when the guided missile destroyer USS John S. McCain collided with an oil tanker. A sailor from downstate Decatur, third class petty officer Logan Palmer, is one of ten crewmen listed as missing. The remains of some missing sailors have been found. Senior White House officials say the first of about 3,900 more American troops may be deployed to Afghanistan within days. They're part of President Trump's new plan to force the Taliban to accept a political solution to the long-running fight to control the Afghan government. Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan canceled a legislative session that was planned for later today. Madigan delayed it, saying progress is being made in negotiating school funding. At issue, the mandatory veto is $500 million for Chicago public schools that Governor Rauner is calling a Chicago bailout. Leaders say they'll continue negotiations in Chicago tomorrow. Madigan says if they can't reach an agreement by the end of the this week, he will call for an override of the vote next week. And finally, ESPN has pulled an announcer from the University of Virginia's season opening football game because his name is Robert Lee. Lee is Asian American. And just so we're clear, the other Robert Lee is on the left. He is the man who was a Civil War general for the Confederacy. The guy on the right is the sports announcer we're talking about. The network made the decision after the violence at the Nazi white power rally in Charlottesville. ESPN is saying it's a shame that this is even a topic of conversation. Lee will work on a different game on September 2nd. Back over to you guys.